This is not just your standard brushless HBX 16889A. This is the pro version. It's the 168... Sweet hat, bro. The 16889A Pro. That means that it's got oil-filled shocks, a bigger motor, and full metal drivetrain. We do have an HBX 16889A, but it is not the pro version. This is supposed to be a superior machine. What's a pure machine? Real quick, just to go over what it has in the box, it has an LED headlight kit, a USB charger, extra body clips, the wheelie bar, which we will put on in just a minute. The transmitter. This transmitter is the same as what a lot of the other HBXs come with. It's a fine transmitter. I've never had problems with it. Instruction manual. This pad of sweet stickers and a screwdriver. This version that I got does just come with one battery. It's a thousand milliamp 2S. Comparing it to the standard version, you can definitely see that the motor is larger in the Pro. One of the many great things about this truck, besides the very well-designed suspension system, except the shocks, and the ultra durability, is the battery life. One single battery lasts a long time in this truck. So with this one having a larger motor, I'm really curious what kind of battery life we'll get out of that. These oil shocks are a definite improvement, but I will probably put some thicker fluid in them eventually. Oh, and by the way, this is not just a bench review. We will be taking this outside to show you what it can really handle. And then directly after that, we'll go over for what we learned about it out in the field, such as battery life and how well she held up. As mentioned, this does have oil-filled shocks, unlike this one, full metal drive shafts, metal drive cups, and the actual gears in the differential are metal as well. Same in the rear, the wheel and diff cups are metal. It's got the metal dog bones, shiny metal center drive shaft. And with the battery in there, check out that nicely thought out symmetry so if you could like this video that'd be awesome and consider subscribing wheelie bar install Let me see. What is Did you see that? Yeah! That was close. Oh! Oh! 
She's okay. Nice. All right, we broke an axle pin, so we're gonna be in rear wheel drive only. Do you like it in there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what in the world? We can actually pop an in. Yeah, I don't think anything's broken, just an axle kind of halfway popped out. All right, she's back. battery stopped to show off its flex well i wasn't very impressed with the battery life not really the battery life but more the battery size that you're kind of stuck with this one ended up going flat in about 14 minutes afterwards we ended up putting this ovonic 2200 milliamp battery in there and it's much bigger it does not fit in the battery tray so we used some extra battery straps this battery lasted 40 minutes i'll put a link in the description for these because these batteries have been really good so far and you saw this poor thing took quite a few bad hits out there but if it's anything like our standard 16889a or our 16890 it's probably gonna have very minor, if any, damage at all. I did also reinforce this body because body damage is inevitable the way we run these cars. So I went ahead and put some shoe goo and drywall tape on this one, even though I messed up a little bit here with the drill bit. I didn't wanna put that information in this video because I actually have another video showing how to do that if you're interested. I'll put a link to that video in the description. If I hadn't done that first, this body would have been torn up pretty bad, most likely. The only thing that actually broke is is the wheel pin that goes inside this axle. That dog bone did pop out. Luckily, I was able to find it. So we'll be able to get it back in there, put a new pin inside. Luckily, I keep those pins in stock and she'll be ready to go again. At one point, something flexed so much that this axle almost popped out but I was able to just pop it back in and everything was fine. It didn't happen to this one yet, but on our other one, occasionally the top of the shocks will pop off of their little ball studs and if that starts to happen, it's because it's getting worn out around there. All you've got to do is put a little washer behind the screw and that will prevent that. I can absolutely feel a power difference between the motor that's in this 
and the motor that's in that. This motor is four millimeters wider than the one that's in that truck, and I believe it's four millimeters longer as well. This motor just pulls this car down under acceleration. It has a really nice feel to it, the way that it fishtails while accelerating. It's just, it's definitely a lot of fun. Now, if you haven't watched a lot of our content yet, you might not know, but we love putting oversized tires on almost every single car we have, especially this one. And we've already got some slightly oversized monster truck tires on this one. So I'm thinking now we're gonna put these on here. If that's something you think you wanna see, make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell if you haven't yet. Now I say this car is pretty much for anybody. That's beginners and that's advanced enthusiasts as well because this car can take just about anything you throw at it. It's good for beginners because it's a great car to train on. You can learn how to pitch the car in the air for a proper landing, and no matter how many times you screw it up, you're still not gonna break it most likely. It's perfect for the intermediate or advanced enthusiast because there's no reason not to like it. It's fast, it's fun, it does tricks. Whenever possible, I still enjoy my larger scale cars, but this one is perfectly fun. And usually if all my other ones are broken, which does happen a lot, these 16th scale high boxings are usually the ones that are still running. Parts are cheap and seem to always be in stock. The only problem is they have to come from China. So if you don't live in China, it takes a while for them to get to you. I've added a link to this truck in the description of this video in case you're interested in getting one. I'll also put links for the base brushed motor model and also the standard 16A89A, which is this blue one. I don't have the brushed model, but I've heard that it's a lot of fun too, especially for the price. Let me know in the comments if you think I should do a comparison video between the pro version and the standard version. One of the wheel screws broke off in the plastic axle. That's definitely one of the weak points on this. One of the odd things is this this one can do backflips off of our ramp and for some reason this one can't even though it's got the more powerful motor let me know in the comments what you think that's all about